20 years ago, roughly, BYU played or exactly. Kansas State in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah. Well, 10 days away yeah. from exactly. I right. said 96, Cotton Bowl at the beginning. It was 97. 97. It's 1990. January 1st, yeah. 1997. Still, the 96 season. The Cougars beat Kansas State in the Cotton Bowl, and the man who caught the game winning touchdown was K.O. Kale Louie. Yeah. Who is joining yeah, us Kale's now here. in San That's Diego. Awesome. Hey, everybody, give it up. Let's go. <laughs> The whole crowd's going crazy. They're going yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Kale, welcome back uh, to Thanks. the bowl game oh, scene with BYU. Thank, thanks for having me. It's beautiful out here in sunny San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where'd yes. that sun go, man? Oh. <laughs> You're a flag bearer tonight, which is, I'm sure is a really cool experience for you. 20 years after uh, you were playing in the Cotton Bowl, what's that like and how are the emotions of all of this? Man, it's, it hasn't left. Every time I see a BYU setup or every time I see a BYU game, it just brings back all that feelings that I had 20 years ago and that, that, uh, that blessing that I had to be on such a good team and such a good staff. It was awesome. That team was amazing, and that team was honored during the summer uh, on yep. BYU Football Media Day. That was a lot of fun for everybody. So you went before you went to BYU, you were at Grossmont College. I was. You're nearby. There's kind of a tradition there with BYU yeah. receivers, right? There, there's a lot of Grossmont receivers coming out of Grossmont uh, College. Um, we just got a lot of talent, and we got a good staff out there, and um, just g gives everybody an opportunity to get, get to the big leagues, you know? And that's where Nick Kurtz is from, uh, El Cajon, is that how you say it? Yes. Uh, Todd Watkins went there. Todd and then Watkins. you were telling me someone else on the 84 team. Hey, Richard Zayas. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, I don't know if you guys remember him, but he was a really good receiver coming out of Grossmont. I always hear stories about him. From, from both BYU coaches and Grossmont coaches. There you go, yeah. So there's been a good tradition there. So what are you, what are you up to now? I'm a soccer coach here in San Diego for club soccer, high school soccer, and I uh, also coach football at Grossmont College. Oh, you're there now. That's great. Yeah. There you I go. Always got to give back for what's the game hanging to out. Me. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't let it go. If you want to funnel some more fantastic receivers to BYU, I don't think that Kalani Satake would uh, – would be no. w he would hate something like that. So let's <laughs> let's keep it rolling. Okay? For sure, for sure. KOK Lily with us at Qualcomm Stadium. It is BYU Bowl game day. They're taking on Wyoming. What's going to be like for you to watch BYU in San Diego? Twenty years after you last played. Well, I'll tell you what. You, 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 I played in a lot of stadiums. I played with, with tons of people full and, and not many people in the stadium. But I'm telling you what, I have never got to just sit back and, and just look around and enjoy it and that's what I'm excited about tonight is just to look back and and see all the people and because you're so focused on the game and it's a, it's an amazing thing just to sit here and look at the stadium from this perspective so it's just an amazing experience you uh you played while Kalani Satake was on his mission <laughs> so you never actually overlapped with him but do, do you know Kalani do yeah we kind of bumped into each other here and there and I, I totally remember him and uh he's same smile when I last saw him you know he's just a great guy you want, you want to be around him you know one of those kind of true leaders and uh, you can feel it when when you're talking to him and uh, he makes you feel like like you know him for 20 years you are like the bookend hero of the 1996 season. You caught the game winner against Texas A&M. Fantastic celebration. <laughs> and you caught the game winner against Kansas State as well. And another fantastic uh, celebration. Spontaneous. Like, what, what was your favorite memory from that, that 96 football campaign? Uh, you know what? To be honest, uh, that Texas A&M game was – because that's the first time I really caught a bomb like that and ran into the end zone. I've caught a lot of bombs, but I've never caught a bomb and ran into the end zone. And um, those celebrations were spontaneous. You know, I, usually when you, you play games, you, you know, I'm in the hotel, oh, I catch, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. <laughs> but when it happens, you just kind of <laughs> react and sliding on my back and just, you know, just taking that moment in and just being so grateful for that opportunity. So I went to that game uh, as a youngster, and I just grabbed a shirt out of my dresser. <laughs> I didn't think about what color youngster. it was or anything. <laughs> It was maroon. <laughs> I wore a maroon shirt to the Texas a and game. <laughs> I still feel like an idiot. <laughs> you should. <laughs> it was it worked I, yeah. it worked in reverse it, favor. It worked, though, right? yeah, right. yeah. You, and should, then, you should do it tonight. You should wear no, a brown, brown, a brown shirt. shirt. You have brown pants on, dude. <laughs> Winner! They're just catchy. Winner! Come on. Jerem's got brown pants on. BYU's gonna win. This isn't the kind of brown that Wyoming wears. Which you played Wyoming too. The the only other neutral meeting with Wyoming was in Vegas, and now tonight. Sure. What did that game mean? Because that was a, a classic in BYU history in Vegas. Man, that was a nail biter right to the very end. Um, yeah, again, that's football college. For you, you know, we were favored in that game, and Wyoming came to play. And uh, you just never know how a football game turns out, but that's what we remember the most like going down to that last second, and you know, and uh, Postman kicking mm -hmm. that field goal. I mean, to win, I mean, that's that's how you win 
that's how that's how you go down in the history to win games like that. You know, not just beating people handily, but when it really matters and you get that last minute play, last second. That's that's what people remember the most, and I, and I remember those kinds of games. This BYU team underneath Ty Detmer as the first-year offensive coordinator has built itself on one word this year, and that is balance. And if anything, it seems like the Cougars will probably be run heavy tonight just because they have a beast of a running back, Jamal Williams. What's it like to watch BYU play football this year compared to chucking it all over the field with Steve Sarkeesian when you were playing? Um, you know, that's part of the game. Watching the, you know, having a strong run game actually opens up the pass game. So, you know, you know, having Nick Kurtz and, and receivers like that to t take get that big play when when the running game's going. I mean, that's that's a balanced offense. You have to pick your 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 poison. You know, you you either got to stop the game or you're going to stop a big play from BYU's receivers. In 1996, you led uh, the team with 901 receiving yards. BYU doesn't have a 500 yard receiver. Is that kind of weird? That is weird. That that is weird. Nick but, Kurtz uh, has the most. You're gross, my guy. Hey. <laughs> that's what we do <laughs> what, what do you think of uh, Steve Sarkeesian he's of course been the head coach at Washington and USC now he's the offensive coordinator at uh, Alabama Alabama. your guy hey man he's he's destined for greatness um, you know he's a true true story of uh, a success story you know that, that faced adversity and, and I always knew since the day one I got into the huddle and I'll never forget that UCLA game and just the way he handled everybody I'll never forget that and I knew right then and there that he's, he's a true leader. So whatever he does in life, he's going to be successful. And whatever adversity he faces, he'll crush him. I mean, that's just Steve, and I'm very proud of him uh, where he's at right now. What does it mean to you when you see the stretch Y anywhere in life? When you encounter the stretch Y, what, what does that mean to you? You know, it's, you know, to be honest, it's hard not to go, hey, I played for BYU. <laughs> you know, my kid's like, oh, no, Dad, don't say it. Don't say it. You know, I'm, I'm super proud to be a Cougar. I'm super proud to wear the blue and white. And uh, there's nothing like it. Um, there was nothing like playing college football at BYU. I'm, I mean, there was just nothing like it. Can't explain it. Going into that 96 game, was there added motivation because of the way you felt you weren't included in the Alliance Bowl? Did that help in, in, in that? I always wonder about motivations going into a bowl game for, for a team. Sure. Yeah. For us, you know, in the 96 team, man, we didn't have to, too much motivation. The motivation was just what we had. You know, I, it's hard to explain that that. That gel that we had, that camaraderie, it was that when it was kickoff, everybody had each other's back. It was, it was just a, it's hard to explain. It. You had to be there on that field. It was a beautiful thing, just everyone having each other's back, and they knew it. It's like that faith and trust thing that you have. And a, a championship team needs that, you know, not just good skills, not just good talent, but you've got to have that thing that everybody just feeds off. And, and, and I truly believe Kalani did a great job with his staff and, and changing that kind of uh, – environment for the for the players i mean, I mean that's a good season that they have you know i mean the, the backs were against the wall there's a lot of things kalani was facing but look look what true leadership and tr true belief and faith and family can do you can anything is possible when did you find out that you were going to be an alumni flag bearer for this game uh, a few days ago, I was super excited. I didn't tell anybody. And, I, you know, I was like, man, should I tell people? But it's an honor. I couldn't believe that. At first, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was Kalani. Somebody's calling me and sending me up. And uh, when I found <laughs> you know, I was, I was, I was really, really humbled. And I'm so, so happy to be here tonight. I guess it depends who uh, messaged you. Who was it? Was it Jack DeMooney? Because <laughs> if it's Jack, you're like, yeah, it was Jack for Real? sure, like for sure. Well, we, you know, we were at the... Uh, uh, Cotton Bowl, we had all the freshmen dress up in, uh, in their suit and ties, and we told them that there was a, a, a freshman interview for everybody at the pool area. Of course, there wasn't. It was a <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're notorious for playing pranks on people, so I'll, I'm waiting for it to come back to me. Yeah. You're like, just kidding. You don't have any tickets, I, and we like, can't right, get you. Mm, sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, all right, Jack. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Even when I was pulling up to Qualcomm, I'm just looking around. I go, this is so set up right now. They're all going to come running out. Yeah, yeah, come on, BYU Sports Nation. It'll be great. Yeah. Hey, we're here. We're excited to watch you uh, run out the flag for BYU, and uh, I'm sure that uh, it's going to be an emotional experience for you. In fact, have you thought about the execution? Uh, you get, like, how, how are you going to hold yeah. the pole? How fast do you I, go? I, my first thought was like, I'm so going to fall. <laughs> Just, <laughs> but no, I'm not. I'm going to hold it proud of my, my, my chin up and represent the Cougars like everybody else is here tonight. If it's raining like this, are you going to wear cleats maybe? I'm not going to wear the expensive gel, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it getting messed up?
<laughs> no, um, yeah, rain or shine, man. Cougar will come to play tonight. You, you could, you could run out there and then lay down, <laughs> lay down on your back, Dude, <laughs> shake the ball. The if they give me permission, I'm doing something. <laughs> Please let me have something. <laughs> Ko, it's great to talk to you, man. We Thank appreciate you. the time and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you with the flag tonight. And you can enjoy the game. That's I will. fantastic. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for having me. You got it. Ko, hey, you, you're from around here. Get this rain stuff. Yeah, we didn't sure. order this, man. Turn off the rain, please. <laughs>